Welcome to one more episode of Code EC tutorial and this time it's API creation using Laravel. To start, let's set up our project, create your own folder and then install a Laravel project with your own project name. I'm re replacing the default one with my project name. And once I run it, uh, it will start installing Laravel. That's done now. So let's go to the project structure, go to app.php and we need to generate a key for the project, which we will do using a command called PHP artisan key generate, which has generated our key for the project. I'll just replace this random key with the, the generated key. And let's try running the Laravel project and see whether everything is working fine. So by default, it the uh, artisan serve runs in eight thousand. So it's working now. Let's install a package called Dingo, which will help you set up API pretty fast. Dingo is a framework uh, or a package for Laravel, which allows you to create uh, API. And it will handle all the exceptions and uh, all the error handling creation of uh, something called as a transformer, which will let you generate uh, or uh, create the JSON format in a way that you want, which we will discuss in, in a later tutorial. Plus, it will let you uh, generate the data structure in a way like you want so we are done with uh, creating or installing the package let's just now add uh, the provider for dingo which we'll have to do it in app.php section So the Laravel service provider is pointed. Now let's run a vendor publish, which will generate a config file for uh, the Dingo project. So we are sh showing the provider there, past the provider, which is Laravel service provider. And that generates an API.php file. So the, here is where we will customize our framework. VND will let you share this uh, service or the API to outside uh, use. So that you can create, uh, you can give your own uh, API's name there, prefix with the uh, the version so I either you can prefix or use a domain it, that's my API name there are different uh, uh, set of uh, defaults available here which you can modify or customize based on your need. So I would require debug during the development phase. So I set it to true. 
and you can see that uh, the authentication mechanism throttling transformers are all predefined which you can override with your own custom uh, custom se sets of uh, rules so uh, let's start setting up uh, the api endpoints in your routes.php for that uh, you'll have to call api the dingo ones routing and from here you can start using that api append with your version versioning of uh, an api is important if you understand what versioning is So I'm creating my first API call here. So my call is a get call. The method is get. I'll just create a endpoint called hello. I create a function and return my value there. Let's say this will just return hello. So once I access this endpoint, it should let me return that hello in a JSON format. So once you call PHP Artisan API routes, it will show all the routes which is available, which are the different endpoints. So I copy that URI and then run it uh, in the 8000. So this should return me hello, yes, and that's working for me now. So the I have set up Dingo framework and I'm able to create uh, different endpoints for my API. So the next step is to actually create a controller and see whether I can, uh, re I can actually add all the required methods there and then expose the methods to the routes. So I have an index method where I'll return the same hello. So to point that hello there, I just need to replace that function with a method uh, from the controller, which I created. So I have the home controller at index will point it to that method. So if I run this, Idly should not run because the uh, controller is not pointed correctly. So I'll have to make some namespace adjustments there. So now it's working fine. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope this will help you set up your first API in Laravel. Subscribe to this channel and uh, get the latest updates as soon as we publish. If you have any queries, write to us at the comment section. We'll try to come back to you at the earliest.